So, okay, had a few people ask me some questions about abs. You know, what can I do for my abs? How can I train my abs? And things like that. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna have an ab lab, okay? So, first of all, everybody has abs. We all have abs. Abdominals are muscle, just like every other muscle in your body. So everybody has them. Also, everybody also has a layer or two or more of groceries over top of those abs. So, if that's the case, what you need to do first is work on getting the groceries off of those abs, okay? Because if you work the abs without working off the fat first, all you're going to do is have some hard abs underneath some fat and nobody's going to see them anyway. So, what do you want to do? Get the fat off first then work the abs, okay? Also, like any other muscle, you want to work every angle of the muscle. By that, I mean you want to work the front, the side, the back, the middle, just like you would do any other muscle. And saying that, you want to work from the navel up, from the navel down, which is one of the hardest areas. That's where we get that little pouch thing going on right there, from the navel down. And you want to work the obliques work all angle of the muscle. But, first get the fat off, then do the tone up. So, I'm gonna go through several exercises that you can do for your abs, working them from every area. All right, so now, if you don't have a bench, don't worry about it. You can use a park bench, a table, you know, your gym, at home, whatever. Doesn't matter to me, like I always say, just get it in. I don't care where you do it at, just get it in, okay? The first one, I hope you guys can see this. I'm just gonna lay back here like this. And the grip doesn't really matter. You can do over or under. I prefer under. Okay, feet together, knees bent, and just bring the knees up to the chest. All right? Just like that. I like to do it on the bench because doing it on the floor, you stop about right here. If you're on the bench, you can go down a lot further. Maybe you can touch the floor if you want and come back up. Or you can get close to the floor if you want and come back up. That's one way of doing it. Want another way, lay straight out, down, up. Down, up. Up. Okay. Two quick exercises you can do from your abs, and they work the lower abs from the navel down. Okay. Now, you can turn around. Like I said, you got this like this. You can turn around. Alright. And just do these. Now you're going from the navel up. And also, once you notice, one reason I'm doing these from the side is so you can see the form. Alright? I'm not hunched over like this, I'm not curving and curling the back. You want to keep the back flat, you want to keep it straight. Just like this. Now you can cross your hands in front of your chest, you can keep them at your side, you can put them at your ears which I make my clients do, put them at your ears. What you don't want to do is be back here doing this. A day or two later, your neck is going to be hurting like crazy and you're not going to know why. It's because you're yanking on your neck trying to get yourself up. So, best thing to do, the safest way to do it, cross your arms here or just keep them in front. See? Quick. Easy, simple. Or you can just do a little crunch. You're good. Two easy, quick exercises working the upper abs. Now, like I said, you want to tap them from all angles, so you need to work the obliques too. So, what you can do with those is, you now my bag is in the way, so I gotta dodge the bag, so I'm gonna do like this. Let's come up, twist. Like 
like that. Work the obliques. You're working your entire core. All right? Notice, got my back straight. I went yanking on my neck, trying to pull myself up. All right? So there's another couple exercises you can do. Now, you can also do these on the floor. So I'm going to slap the bench out of the way. Slap my mat over a little bit. And bear with me while I move the camera around because I'm by myself today. Put this down here. Hope you guys can see it. Slide this over. Now, same moments I was doing there. Okay? You can lay out here flat. Right? Put your hands down, your sides, palms down. Okay? And you want to keep your head, your shoulders, and your back nailed to the floor. And you do the same thing. Knees up to your chest and down. Keep your head down in this movement. Or you can do it straight out. See how easy that is? Same thing sitting down here. Knees bent. Okay. See? Just seated down on the floor. Now, I'm going to change the camera again. And like I said, please bear with me today. Because I'm by myself and I'm trying to get this ad lab in because I got 9 billion people calling me, what can I do? What can I do? Well, I'm going to show you what you can do. I want you to do it right. Okay, so I'm on the stability ball. The ball is basically running the small of my back. I have my feet braced, legs. Okay, and you just punch. Again, I'm not pulling on my neck, so my neck's not going to be hurt tomorrow. And you can twist it. Like that. See? Nice and easy, nice and simple. Make sure you breathe through the exercise. People breathe, breathe, breathe. I get people who be holding their breath and stuff. I'm like, what are you doing? Now this one I'm going to show you this is a little advanced and I really need to move this around a little bit here and see if you can get it in there. here so I can see if you can see yeah and I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit and if you can see there I have a ghost gin chin up pull up bar with the hanging straps came with it got it from Walmart it's like a 20 buck piece of equipment all right now these are for more advanced people basically what you're gonna do like arms in here, okay? Boom, make sure your elbows are locked in good. Make sure the bar is secure on the door frame before you start doing this, okay? And here, you hold on to here, okay? Hang, bring your knees up. Notice I'm not swinging them into place like that. That's cheating on the move. If people are swinging like that, they use momentum to get into position. That's not it. Okay, you turn to the sides.
See? Quick, easy. You can do it anywhere. You can do it at your gym. You can get a bar, do it at home. You can hang from the monkey bars in the park. Quick, easy stuff you can do to hit your abs. Well, remember, first, you got to get the fat off. Then, you work with a tone. Because, like I said, if you just bang the abs and you got fat over top of them, you just have hard abs underneath that, and nobody's going to see you. All right? Okay. That was a brief ab lab for the day. Go out, do something active, get something done. Go on, get out of here.